Hello everyone! My name is Simon and I am coming from the National Literature Channel. At this moment, I am, I am sitting next to the great author who is of also fantastic motorcycle repair. Give it up for Matthew B. Crawford! Woo! Woo! Welcome to the hot seat, Mr. Crawford. The first thing that I want to ask you is what motivated you to write this essay? I mean, so Simon, that's a good question, you know. At first, I wanted to show and share my experience from getting a degree in prestige college to eventually settling with a blue-collar job, like you can see, which everyone actually thought was weird, you know. And I must agree that it was difficult at first. However, as I was writing this essay, I wanted the audience to realize that life offers more than just one way to success, and life is different for everybody because everyone is different and has their own things that they're passionate about and are good at. Yes, I hope that reaches your audience very well. But I think I became a successful even by sitting down inside my cubicle, just jotting down questions for people to answer. Uh, I mean, look at me. I graduated from USC and look where I am now. I'm making banks. But sure, like you said, there isn't just one correct way of becoming of becoming successful. Next question is, what's your opinion on the blue and white collar jobs? Personally, I prefer white collar because it's so easy. I mean, yes, lots of people might actually prefer office jobs like you, but does it really make you happy though? I mean, I attended the University of Chicago and graduated with a PhD and got a good, decent office job. Well, you know, I wasn't satisfied with my work or my life, and I didn't enjoy working, which actually lowered my productivity. I mean, I don't see blue-collar jobs as dirty or anything that uneducated or less smart people would do, but, you know, because, like, blue-collar jobs have their own certain aspects, which means that people with skills and good knowledge in a profession can take the job. It's just a different working environment for everyone and different kind of job that you do. So I guess it's pretty open to an individual's interpretation. Very well, very well. But with the changing generations, don't you think people are more fit for office jobs rather than, the, than manual labor? That's what life is about, change. Yes, Simon. I mean, with the change in generations, like you mentioned, Life is obviously changing. For example, more modern parents believe that college is the only way to success and coerce their children to follow one course, as if their lives are formulated with one correct answer. But if everyone has an office job like you, the world will undoubtedly lack enough manual laborers and other blue-collar jobs that are entailed in people's lives. I mean, who's going to fix the bathroom sink? Who's going to fix the lights? Who's going to fix the broken cars? There are many different kinds of jobs that constitute life. After all, having, an, having only an office job will discourage some people not to work. For others, it will limit their efficiency, which would actually confine people and the economy itself. You have, uh, you have clearly made your agree. Or <laughs> you have clearly made your argument. My final question for you tonight is. What are the benefits for, for working with your hands or in simple terms, what do you like about your job? Yeah, I mean, I love the fact that I can work all day, every day in a working condition, which I prefer. And the, the fact that I have a job and I actually enjoy and love doing. Also, I believe that I'm more skilled as a motorcycle engineer. And I can fix some people's problems with their bikes that most other people can't because I'm skilled in that aspect of the job. I like how I'm able to control what I do at my workplace and that I am able to work based on my reasoning and my judgment, which allows me to stretch myself to my fullest potential. What about you, sir? Are you truly satisfied with your job? Oops, um, um, our time is up. Um, thank you, Mr. Crawford, for your time. Um, it was very nice having you. I will see you next Thursday on the National Literature Channel. Bye-bye.